Hello, and welcome to Meet the Shaper. In this episode, we will be introducing Lilith, the old guard. You will not leave this place. Exiled by the blood shapers of Sunar for the heresy of love, Lilin escaped to the heart of the world, where her and the spirit of divinity stand vigil, defending her new life with waves of cleansing fire. Lilin is a ranged magical damage burst mage who specializes in bringing down even the toughest targets. What Lilin lacks in mobility, she makes up for in raw power, synergizing well with other mages. Lilin's passive is Chastise. Whenever Lilin's abilities deal damage to an enemy Shaper, they deal additional magic damage based on the target's bonus health. Lilin's Q is Fool's Fire. Lilin summons multiple shades and launches them at a target enemy, dealing magical damage and proccing Chastise per shade launched. Fool's Fire will always create two shades, plus one per hollowed enemy Shaper a debuff applied via Lilin's E ability, Consecrate. Lilin's E is Consecrate. Lilin releases a blast of spirit flame in a target direction, dealing magical damage to each non-shaper target it passes through. When the projectile ends or hits a shaper, it detonates, dealing magical damage to all enemies in an area around the target. Shapers hit by this ability become hollow. Always try and hit enemies with Consecrate before casting Fool's Fire, as it will significantly boost the damage output. It is important to note that you can hollow one enemy, then use Fool's Fire on a completely different Shaper to boost the damage to that single target. Lilin's W is Rebuke. Passively, Lilin's basic attacks and abilities penetrate a percentage of her target's bonus defenses. When activated, Lilin conjures a wave of energy in a target direction, dealing magical damage. The damage dealt is decreased against targets that are further away from the casting point. Units hit that are close enough to Lilin are knocked back. Rebuke's passive serves as a nice damage boost against targets building magic resistance. More importantly though, it's Lilin's only defensive tool. So if enemies get too close, use it to create more distance. Just remember it has a long cooldown, so don't miss that knockback. Lilin's ulti is Invocation. Lilin summons the Spirit of Divinity to destroy a target enemy Shaper. For two seconds, the Spirit strips the target of a large percentage of their maximum magic resistance before firing a projectile in their direction that deals magical damage to the first Shaper that it hits. Invocation can be devastating in a one-on-one -on -one fight. The magic resistant shred is so large that enemy shapers targeted will need someone to help block the shot or face getting pummeled. It is always best to lead your ability combo with invocation. Other friendly magic damage based shapers should use this opportunity to dish out damage to this target while the enemy's magic resistance is negated. When building Lilin, you should focus on power and mastery. Because of the passive bonus penetration on Rebuke, Lilin needs less penetration than other mages, and can therefore prioritize items such as Divinity and Chaos. Thank you for watching this episode of Meet the Shaper. You can join our community beta at Dawngate.com, and I will see you in the Dawngate.